I bring to you from the most average of workshop settings how to make a suitcase kick drum. Once you've attained a reasonable suitcase from your local thrift store or second hand shop, you need to decide what kind of kick drum you want. Is it this kind? You just stand it up on the side, put a kick pedal in front of it, and you're ready to go? Because that's done. It's done. Or, you could give your suitcase kick drum what it really needs to thrive. We're pulling out all the stops. And if that's what you're here for, then you've come to the right video. Here we go. If you decide to go with a drum head, then you need to figure out what size is good for your suitcase. I have a pretty average sized suitcase, so something like a 14 inch, it's a little too big. Something like an eight and a half inch, it's a little too small. But something like a 10 inch, 10 inch snare head is just the right size. Once you've found the perfect drum head for your suitcase drum, for me, again, that's a 10 inch snare, you wanna find out where you wanna put it. I think the best way to do this is to hit it right in the center of where it lies. Put your drum head. Then you're gonna to wanna to take a pen, outline the edges to the best of your ability. You can cut off the hole with your fist. So you could just take your head and your hoop and try fastening them right to the suitcase. But if your suitcase is made of this really crappy cardboard material that mine is made of, I suggest just flipping your camera and calling it a day. I suggest just sticking a whole drum in there. So we should be at about this point with a nice exposed lip to fasten our head to. I've got about two to three inches of space inside the suitcase past the drum. And if we want to take this side of the drum pulley off, then it'll just be even more resonant. Definitely make sure that your screws are going into the right places, or try. Now all we have to do is attach this to that. Now you've got a functional hinge that will fold right up for transport. Screw on those last little things. Ignore that. If you're wondering about that thing that I just told you to ignore, it's basically a speaker that I converted into a microphone by running it the opposite way and hooking up a headphone jack to it, like so. It's really janky, but if you hook that up to a converter, you can plug it into an amp. So if I want to be loud things. So if I want to be the quintessential folk musician playing a suitcase kick drum at a show, I can be loud about it, like this goddamn thing. So I won't get into the physics of it, but basically if you hook a headphone jack up to the output of a speaker, it becomes a microphone. And you have a nice hole in your suitcase drum that your headphone jack can be run out through and amplified. Enjoy. Here it is. A perfectly good suitcase kick drum with a do-it-yourself contact microphone, so if you feel so inclined, you can be that much louder. Enjoy, folks.